Follow Mumbai top cop uh, Himanshu Roy committed suicide by shooting himself in the mouth with the service revolver. He was suffering from cancer and was on a two-year long medical leave which started in April 2016. The incident took place at his Malabar Hill uh, residence. Uh, Roy was rushed to the hospital in his car by his family members where he was declared dead on arrival. Security has been beefed up outside the Bombay hospital. Congress has raised suspicion over the events leading to Roy's uh, death. In fact, Congress spokesperson Priyanka Chaturvedi has alleged Roy has been sidelined and given insignificant posting. Manish Roy was uh, a former ATS chief of uh, Maharashtra, had uh, a sterling career where he handled high-profile cases like the IPL spot fixing, the JDA murder case and even interrogated Ajmal Amir Kasab, the 2611 Mumbai attacks uh, terrorist. Well, speaking to India today, Dr. Uh, Gautam of the Bombay Hospital, in fact, revealed that Himanshu Roy was brought dead to the hospital and had shot himself in the mouth at around 1.30 p.m. Yeah, he brought uh, one hour back, one and one and a half hour back, uh, in brought dead condition. It was bullet injury. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, uh, he was brought... Unfortunately, he's not there. Sir, you, you're saying it was bullet injury. If you could tell us, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, more details, the people who was accompanying him, and uh, was it a single bullet injury, uh, uh, self-inflicted? The whole family was with him. And he looked at how that will go to the... Uh, then it will be clarified how exactly it happened. But uh, the bullet injury, and it was from out and exit from uh, skull. Okay. Uh, so it happened about uh, an hour uh, and a half uh, when he was brought into uh, the hospital. You can say, yeah, almost one and a half hour or two hours, you can say. Reactions uh, on this story. Uh, let's just quickly get across uh, to these reactions. An officer who is working uh, is always uh, uh, tried more. He's, he seldom has a respite. I think we will have to think of giving compulsory leave to police officers holding field assignments like we have in the army officers must be given a month's leave to go and rest and recuperate otherwise it is becoming very bad if if such young officers senior officers have to kill themselves because of the depression or because of frustration it's very sad family members inside the hospital well uh, i met his wife just yeah. now what to say except to show my sympathy Himanshu Rai had worked under me as my deputy commissioner when I was police commissioner of Bombay and uh, I had given him the charge of South Bombay, he was zone 1, a very tough charge, a job which I had held myself for two and a half years as deputy commissioner. Later he worked as joint commissioner of police crime branch, again a post which I had held in 93 to 95 when the 93 serial blast took place. These are positions which are very demanding jobs, very tough jobs. And uh, Imanshu Rai uh, did very good work, both as Zone 1 Deputy Commissioner and Joint Commissioner of Police Crime. Uh, he was there for nearly three years or more. So a very good officer. He handled many important cases successfully. And uh, ultimately, when he went on leave from there, he went as a sick man. For three years, he had uh, held that charge. And he went as a sick man and never came back. He lost his life. Okay. It's a very big loss. I would say it's a loss to the service. I don't think there is any. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I'm not thinking in those terms. I'm thinking more from the human angle and from the angle of service. It's a loss of loss to service. It's a loss to government. It's loss to society. And I think uh, I will stress this point that police officers who do the field jobs. If you have to face tremendous pressure and uh, the need to be given proper rest and leave and the government and other authorities must think about it seriously. Thank you. So what cancer did he have specifically? Bone cancer or blood cancer? I think those details better you ask. I want to go to Hindi. I want to go to Hindi. I want to go to Hindi. I said that he was going to go to the last two years and he didn't get to meet anyone. There are very few people who are going to meet. मिल रहे थे क्योंकि वो बीमार थे काफी सीरियस बीमार थे लेकिन बीच में सुनने में आया था कि वो कुछ ठीक हो रहे थे। Right, 
consulting editor in the Today Group, Rasdeep Sardesai, was uh, a classmate of Himanshu Roy. Uh, he spoke to us and in fact he uh, remembered Roy as a very upright uh, officer who in fact wanted uh, to go into public service. Uh, listen in to Rasdeep. You know, there is a personal equation I must confess here because Himanshu Roy was in school with me. Uh, we knew him very well. He was someone who had, uh, you know, a, a flair for investigating crime in particular, enjoyed the process of cracking a big case, whether it was the IPL case or the J-Day murder case in the period when he was Joint Commissioner of Police Crime. Himanshu uh, worked on several of these cases and... Uh, Every time you met him, you know, you sensed in him an enthusiasm and a passion for policing. Unfortunately, in the last few years, he was suffering from cancer and, uh, and went into a period of depression. Either way, no one could have expected something as tragic as this. And it really is a sad day because he was a very fine officer of the Mumbai police force. Meanwhile, Congress has raised suspicion over the death of uh, Himanshu Roy, which uh, the Congress says felt sidelined and his complaints of ill-treatment were ignored. Listen into Priyanka Chaturvedi. I have questions in my mind as to what would have led him to take this extreme step. Uh, in the past few years, we've seen how his um, uh, request to the Home Department was sidelined, where he spoke about how he was being ill-treated and how some uh, sections had ganged up against them. And he was given an insignificant post rather than looking at his uh, concerns or sharing his concerns or even investigating his concerns. So I would hope that his family, uh, my prayers for his family, and I would hope that his family finds peace and uh, also uh, a closure coming from the state government as to why he was treated the way he was in his last years. Let me go across uh, to my colleague Mayuresh uh, for an update. He is outside the Bombay hospital where Imanchi Roy was brought by his family. He was declared brought dead there. Uh, Mayuresh, uh, we have now, you know, former cops, other uh, people have started coming and gathering at the Bombay hospital. What's the update? Uh, certainly, Ankit, the update from uh, the Bombay Hospital is that, that his body has been taken uh, to GT Hospital, which is a government ho hospital for the autopsy. And we, and we just saw his family, his wife and uh, other relatives, they also uh, they have also gone uh, for, at the GT Hospital. So we are expecting that in, uh, in, in, uh, in time of half an hour, uh, the autopsy will start. And uh, within one, hour, one and a half hour, uh, it will get completed and, the, uh, and his body will be released for, uh, for his body will get released uh, for his family to take at home you know my uh, who all uh, um, you know have come there the top brass of the mumbai police former top cops who all are there and also tell our viewers more about himanshu roy as a person Certainly, uh, we, uh, we saw the uh, Mumbai, uh, Mumbai Police Commissioner Ratta Parasal Gikar, uh, Gikar was here, uh, ADG Law and Order, uh, Devin Bharti uh, wa uh, was here, even he, along with that, uh, his family, they have gone to the GT hospital, his wife uh, we saw, and uh, we have got the visuals of his family also, uh, there were other few family members in uh, one particular one car, and they have just gone to the GT hospital. If we, if we speak about... Uh, uh, Himanshu Roy, 1988 batch IPS officer. He was he was a very well decorated as well as we can say that celebrated officer because of his good track record. He was having a, a tremendous uh, good track record. If you speak about the IPL case, if you speak about the JD murder case, where uh, he clearly proved the connection of Chota Rajan with uh, this particular murder case. Even if you remember the uh, ISIS joinee Arif Majid, uh, who uh, even in his tenure also he cracked down that. Arib, uh, Arib case. So certainly he had he, he held the post like uh, uh, not only as a, a Mumbai crime branch head but also ATS head and now from past two years he was given a post of uh, ADG housing. So even uh, uh, there were there were there, uh, even he was undergoing right. a treatment for the cancer and that's why he was he was on a leave. So uh, that's that's what his career illustrated career we can say that. Uh, right, thank you so much, Mayuresh, for joining us with all those uh, details. We'll come back to you for more uh, on the story. At this point of time, we have to take a very short break on the bulletin. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.